All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we are taking four high yielding funds. We're taking Apple, Clip, Tesla, and also Kony, and we are going to calculate how much a $100,000 investment is going to produce in terms of annual and also monthly dividend income. But you know what, since I realized that I've done a few videos like this in the very recent past, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to give you my thoughts on each of these stocks where I think they might be headed in the future. So we're going to talk about Apple, where I think it's headed, Crane Shares, Clip, where I think that's headed, TSLY with Tesla, and then obviously Kony with obviously massive yields and coinbase underneath so that does sound good i do want to say we're up to 3664 subscribers so please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so it's free and you're going to get a bunch of new ideas on investing your money and earning some more monthly and annual income but i do want to say one of our subscribers mr kenneth lucas came up with a little suggestion suggestion and this video is brought to you by him he said hello what if i put a hundred thousand dollars in a four yield max funds or clip for example so i did three yield max funds and clip how much could i make from the strategy now he said as well obviously to send my contact information i was like look maybe it's maybe maybe it's just easier that i send this video out to you and so Kenneth, I dedicate this video to you and for the formulas and calculations, sure, we could calculate depreciation on this. I'm not going to do that in this video because it's a little bit harder due to the fact we don't necessarily know how the stocks are going to perform, but there's really no crazy formulas that you really need to calculate this. And I'm going to show you that exactly. We're just going to take the dividend yields by each of these companies or sorry, these ETS, Apple, Crane Shares, TSOY, and Kony, and we're going to multiply them into our $20,000 investments, $25,000 investments, which will be split over these four funds. So Kenneth, that is what we are going to do today in this video. I hope you guys do enjoy and let's get right into it. So starting with Apple, first, let's see how much a $25,000 investment would yield us because that is what we came here for. Let's see. So we got investing $100,000 split between four funds. We're multiplying it by a 28% yield, 28.03. So we'll do 0.28 zero three and that will give us seven thousand seven thousand and seven dollars and fifty cents so right off the bat we're already earning seven thousand dollars a year from a twenty five thousand dollar investment that is a pretty substantial marker now going to apple we we have their underlying share which um underlying stock which is apple now you can see here that from october to december in october to really november they had a massive run up from about 168 dollars to about almost 200 dollars, 198 dollars a share now the thing is aptly underperformed it really did because look at this aptly went from roughly 17 dollars and 88 cents to about 20 dollars a share or so which to me it's a good run up but i don't think it necessarily captured as much as apple did apple looks to have made a run up of about maybe 15% or so, whereas Apple maybe about 10%. So it did lag behind a little bit. Sure, Apple will pay a dividend, but the dividend will also come out of its current share price. So Apple, I think, is lagged behind a little bit. Where do I see Apple going in the future? I think Apple is going to retest this high. It's either going to retest and bank through or it is going to come right back down for a little test back at this 190 level. So I think it's either going to push through and or return back to this 190 level right about here. But I do think Apple is going to push through here because they're very close. They retested this high and had a positive marker going into it. So I think Apple could be potential for a breakout and same thing with Apple, the underlying stock. So now going to the next fund, we're talking about Clip. Now Clip pays a pretty staggering 70, 47.9% dividend and the underlying stock KWeb has actually performed a little bit mediocre, but Clip has performed very well. And what I need to do here is actually search up Clip so you, I can show you guys. Now, KWeb has kind of been in the range of about $26 to about $29 or so. And it's been in that range for the past like four or five months. KWeb, on the other hand, although it looks like it has gone down for the past couple of months, you can see the price is starting to flatten out where it traces back up to its original price about $17.50 and has a dividend and then retraces back up to about $17.40 has a dividend. Now we haven't seen that retracement back up from clip this month, but if we're able to do that every single month from clip, 
we're basically receiving this 47% dividend. Now that is awesome. And for Clip, what I do think is it's going to continue to perform as it is maybe staggering a bit more sideways. But if we see an increase in KWeb, which I do think is happening, is going to happen, I think Clip is going to appreciate pretty nicely, maybe up to that 17 or even $18 level. So that's my kind of prediction for Clip. Now let's get into the dividend here. So it pays a 47.9% dividend. So we're gonna add here, 25,000 investing another 25,000 times 0 0.4790 times its dividend. So you can see here now we're up to almost $19,000 in annual dividend income. This is all annual and we'll divide it by 12 at the end and we'll get the monthly. So now we have Tesla, TSOY, a 60% dividend rate. And TSOY obviously it tracks Tesla. And I'm just going to put in TSLY right here so we can have it up. Now, Tesla over the past little while has actually been doing pretty good. There was some bearish pressure from the Cybertruck, but over the past month or so, it's actually, although it's hit about 230, it rebounded extremely strong all the way up to 250. And I do think Tesla is going to trend higher, maybe up to this 260, $270 marker, $275 marker. That is kind of my prediction for Tesla. Now, TSLY has kind of, it's actually done pretty good over the past month compared to compared to Tesla. As you can see here, up actually 0.25% on the day, and Tesla is down 0.28%. So that is a really great day for TSOY. And it if it can continue to have these days where Tesla is down and TSOY is up, that's gonna make up for the lack of price appreciation that we've seen in the past from TSOY. Now it's been flat, but I do think if Tesla goes up, obviously this chart will somewhat correspond with tesla it won't be exactly the same but i do think it will go up in the future so that is one bullish thing on tsoy and i'm very cautious when i invest in tsoy i have a big position 100 shares but let's get into this dividend so 60.9 percent i'm gonna add here another twenty five thousand dollars times 0 0.609 so this is bringing our annual dividend income to $34,207. And going to our last fund, I want to complete this right now. So investing another $25,000 into a 17.45% dividend, 117.45 to be exact. So we're going to add $25,000. Nope, we need $25 in there. 25,000 times 1.17. Four, five. So this is our total annual income split across Apple, Clip, TSOY, and Kony investing $100,000 divided by four. So $25,000 each will give us roughly $63,570. And when you take our monthly income from a $100,000 investment, you're looking at over $5,000 in monthly income split across some of the yield max funds and then clip. And these are not even the highest yielding yield max funds. We could obviously do square, but I wanted to be somewhat realistic with Apple and obviously Tesla is another high yielding one but I really wanted to th throw Apple in there, not just the high yielding ones like Kony. But nevertheless, $63,000 equals to about $5,000 every single month in monthly income. And Kony, what do I see for Coinbase? I think Coinbase is going to go higher. Now that is kind of the testament with a lot of people investing in Coiny, but I do think that Coinbase is gonna go higher just due to the fact that it's got a lot of momentum and it's pushing through very strong through this this marker here, which was roughly about the, if my screen can load, roughly about the $150 level. It had a good push and is continuing to go higher. We haven't seen levels like this in Kony for a very long time and it could potentially rise up to $190. So that is very exciting to see. I own four shares of Kony. So I'm excited to see it increase in share price, hopefully, as it maybe hits this 260 marker again or two. $26 marker again. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It gave you a sense of how much a hundred thousand dollars invested in coiny TSOY clip and also aptly would yield you and give you an annual and also monthly income. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you, Kenneth, as well for this video idea. We are currently up to 3,664 subscribers. So I want to say thank you guys to everyone who subscribed, stayed up with the channel. I hope you guys do take care and I will see you guys in the next one.